So, is your PC or laptop lagging badly? Or maybe you can't handle your task because of a lagging computer. Okay, okay, I know, your computer is a bit old and you're suffering from it and maybe you feel like throwing it away. So, if you are thinking like that, don't. Because today I will show you some simple tips and useful tools that you will do to get your device running just like you first bought it. Brand new, super fast, great performance, no lagging and perfect. So, let's do it. Okay, so I divided this video into two main parts. The first part is related to some system tips and some software tools. It's totally free and easy to do just in a few minutes. The second part is related to the hardware. It's some optional upgrades and replacements, but maybe you'll have to spend a few bucks here. So if you don't like that, just stick to part one for now. Part A, system tips and software tools. Number one on this list. It might be useful to switch off some of the visual effects and animations which could make some difference in the overall performance. Okay, so first from the taskbar, search for advanced and then go to advanced system settings. Okay, after that, under performance, click on settings. It will open performance option, visual effects, and then choose adjust for best performance. After that, you can enable whatever you need. Like for example, smooth edges of screen fonts, maybe smooth scroll of list boxes, and uh, let's enable the show thumbnails instead of icons and lastly show windows contents while dragging then we click ok and ok and there and that's the first tip tip number two are you suffering from the piles of software that are eating your computer's resources or maybe having many unwanted programs that you should remove right now so you can choose to uninstall them either by going to start, settings, and then apps. After that, you can find the app that you want to uninstall and clicking uninstall. So for example, this one, uninstall, uninstall, and then yes, and it's gone. Just as simple as that. But the problem here is that some programs leave some unwanted files laying here and there. So what you can do is use iobit uninstaller to totally remove the program from its root. Basically it's a tool designed to remove any unwanted software in just one click, including the bundle programs and any leftovers that you don't need. Tip number 3. This is very important. This tool will sweep your junk files and your privacy traces, remove potential threats and increase the overall speed in just one click. Also, it will remove many unwanted files that will free some space on your device. There are many tools out there. I will show you some of them, but you should only choose one of them to download. The first one is System Mechanic. It is the best cleaner and system tuner I tried so far. They offer you 30 days free trial. After that, it's fine to uninstall it. For sure, it will make a difference in 30 days. For the first launch, you should click on Analyze Now and it will analyze your system and check for any issues. Activate the free trial using your email address. Then finally, click Repair All. Just let System Mechanic do all the work for you. Also, there's a useful toolbox in the program, which is worth trying. Make sure to test the like button under this video if your device is now faster. So, for the next 30 days, scan your computer every day and let System Mechanic fix all the issues. If you don't want System Mechanic, there is a great alternative. IOBIT Advanced System Care. It comes in two different forms, a free edition version that covers basic cleaning and a pro version that adds some internet speed boosting, real-time optimization, privacy protection and deep registry cleaning and finally technical support. But even the free version is more than enough. And before going to the hardware tips, we have number 4 on this list. Make sure all the drivers are up to date. And for you to know if there is any virus or any harmful programs on your computer right now, for sure it's using all your computer's resources. And it will make the computer terribly slow. So I recommend you not to visit any suspicious link or any suspicious program. 
and maybe download a good antivirus if you think that your device is already infected. And now for the next part. Part B. Hardware upgrades and replacements. Number one tip on this list. And this is the most recommended tip for today and really it will make a huge difference. If you are still using the mechanical hard drive, it's time to upgrade to an SSD. But why? Simply after upgrading, you'll be amazed at the performance improvements and wondering why you waited so long. Less noise, less power consumption, and the most important, lightning speed. The installation process is very easy. Just grab a suitable SSD from an online store or maybe a local store. And comment below if you want a video on how to replace the old hard disk with a new SSD. And trust me, you will never regret this. The second tip on this list and the final tip for today's video is upgrading the random access memory, only if your computer needs it. So what is the random access memory, or simply the RAM? Basically it's the memory or information storage in a computer that is used to store information for currently running programs. So basically it stores the information that needs to be used very quickly. How do you know if you need more RAM or not? Well, it depends on what programs you use daily. For example, for browsing, storing photos, and maybe Word documents and presentations, 4 gigabytes are enough. But if you have some heavy programs, maybe you'll need 8. So let me share a quick tip with you so you can decide by yourself if you need more RAM or not. So while using your daily programs and while they are running, open the task manager. Either by clicking Ctrl Shift Escape on the keyboard or searching from the search bar for the task manager. Then going to the performance tab, and now you can see how many memory you are currently using. So if it's 75% or less, then you are okay. If not, maybe you'll need an upgrade. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and if you found this useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.